I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a very important question based on limits and continuity. The question here is, can the limit exist at x equals to a if x equals to a is an endpoint on function continuous in the closed interval a to b. It's a very important concept and normally one of the best questions asked in calculus to begin with. We also have a note here which says provide an example to support your answer. So let's start with an example. So we're looking for a function which is continuous in a closed interval. What comes to my mind is semicircle. Okay, so let us say that this semicircle is of radius one unit. So in that case, this will be minus one, one, and one. I could write this function f of x as equal to square root of 1 minus x square. Now that represents the semicircle drawn. Now you can see that the end points are what? End points are at x equals to minus 1 and at x equals to plus 1. And this function is continuous in the interval between it, right? That is from minus 1 to 1. Now, as per the equation, what we are thinking about is to show whether the limit will exist at the end point or not. Let us focus at x equals to a. That is to say, let's find out whether the limit exists as x approaches 1, since that is the end point for the given function. So, for this particular function. Now, what is the condition for this limit to exist? Well, this limit can exist only if the limits from both the sides are same. That is from the left hand side and from the right hand side. So, for that, let us calculate the limit when x approaches 1 from the left hand side. So, if you are approaching from the left hand side, that is this side, then you are approaching a value which is 0 and this limit exists and which is 0. So, that is the left hand side limit. Now, what is the limit when x approaches 1 from the right hand side for the same function? Well, from right hand side you cannot approach and therefore it does not exist. And since these two limits are not the same, we can say that the limit does not exist. Perfect. So, so what we have seen here is that the limit when x approaches 1 from the left side for the given function is not equal to the limit when x approaches 1 from the right hand side and therefore we can say that the limit does not exist. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So, with this example it is very clear that if x equals to a is the end point of a function, the function may be continuous in between but still the limit does not exist, right? So, in this case, limit does not exist. Perfect. I like you to give another example where the function is continuous within the given interval. However, it does not exist at the end points. Consider, for example, square root function, right? So, well, I'm drawing square root function here. However, 
we can restrict its domain, right? We can restrict its domain and we can say that from 0 to 9, we have the square root function, right? So, we have defined a function f of x which is equal to square root of x and we have defined it within the interval 0 to 9. Now, it is continuous within this interval. Now, can you justify the limit at one of the endpoints, which is 0? So, let us say when x approaches 0, then what is the limit of this particular function? Is it 0 or it does not exist? Well, clearly, it does not exist. Since the limit approaching 0 from the left side does not exist. So, both cannot be same. You get the idea. So, that very clearly indicates that under given circumstances at the end points, limit will not exist. Perfect. So, I hope this concept is absolutely clear. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.